The main stakeholders in science diplomacy, um, as we can imagine the obvious ones, would be uh, ministries of foreign affairs or governments in general, but also uh, research institutions, academia in general, science, the science community. But these are, are only two of many uh, actors that we like to call uh, an ecosystem of science diplomacy. Uh, there is a very important role for non-governmental actors. For instance, uh, there are times that governments uh, that are going through a difficult time in their diplomatic relations cannot um, establish formal cooperation, for instance. And so non-governmental non actors like um, scientific societies, academies of sciences, foundations, they can act as uh, interlocutors to bring scientists together from these countries that do not have formal diplomatic relations. That is one example uh, we work on at the American Association for Advancement of Science, or AAAS. Um, we used to have a program uh, for science cooperation with Cuba before uh, Cuba and the United States had formal diplomatic relations. And then there are many examples uh, around the world that I'm sure have been mentioned uh, throughout the conference. Um, the funding uh, for science diplomacy engagements is also very important to, to understand that it doesn't always come from governments because especially when you have a um, situation uh, between two countries that have no formal diplomatic relations, they cannot spend uh, federal funding, uh, research funding from the government, which is the, uh, usually the main funder for research. And so these non-governmental actors become very important to support the uh, engagements between the scientists when um, you know, official governmental programs cannot, cannot fund them.